Hey everybody, it's a great frequency x 79 and welcome back to Let's Play Five Ember Warriors 3 Hopes. I did a little more research for, well, off screen and uh, I found out that there was a pretty darn good reason why I kind of can't just use the other. Why I can't use the renowned units a little willy nilly. Uh, apparently, I have to be replaying <laughs> a chapter specifically. Like say for example, let's let's go to the King of the Awakens and uh, say I want to eliminate some scouts. Only down am I able to use these, and every other unit that is in my party. <laughs> Only then am I allowed to raise support with them. Then they are just well, I know I know about. Like support for the main group, because that's a little weird and unorthodox. But like something like raising support with these three characters in particular with everybody else, this is the only method of doing so. So yeah, I can't just go and really nearly do whatever the hidden paralogue. To do a game paralog with Resolver and the party also freely now. I would have to replay that in order for that to work, and even then. The surprise would be kind of a little bit ruined by the fact that, well, I'm not playing as awful at that point. <laughs> well, maybe, I don't know. I haven't seen high no hair of that paralog or. <laughs> I've only seen a thumbnail, and that's about it. I've not seen any gameplay regarding that stage. But, anyways, uh. With that all out of the way, uh, last time we we defended Darien Road and uh, those who suffered in the dark uh, decided to strike and uh, have decided to spoil the fact that Ada God decided to take on takes on her final boss form from the original three houses. Which I mean, honestly, just, just looking back on it, it's kind of a little cool reveal. Review. <laughs> it's kind of a neat reveal, but it also is rather questionable considering they could just force her to swap between those forms as well. And I don't know, I'm a, I'm a little off by how really they could just force her to swap between those forms. It's not good, and uh, it's possibly bad. Possibly bad. Well, apparently, Duke Igo is, is now taking place at the end post place for her? I, I don't understand how this works. Especially since it doesn't matter, it's just like the whole cutscene before this, it, it clearly showed Edelgard on the band and not Duke Iker, so... Somewhere between those... <laughs> the animations, uh... Yeah, the, the idol didn't do that much effect, as an effect of Emperor. But, um... <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get much plot progress done today, because, uh, look at the fucking support I have as everybody else. And flame. It's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. We might be able to get like some for this episode, but after that, after that it's gonna be like battles galore. I might try to space these out a little bit. I'm not sure this is gonna work. <laughs> Cause I just like put up so much support with everybody else. This is ridiculous. But uh, I'll try my best. Let's uh, let's just keep this going. <laughs> if you had asked me a few months ago, I never would have guessed Foden would be in such turmoil. I always thought the Emperor's approach was a bit rash. But it didn't seem wholly unreasonable either, at least not until the battle at Orient Road. Duke Iger was reinstated as Prime Minister right after that, in fact. Hmm. It's almost as though he was just waiting for the Emperor's defeat, don't you think? Kinda does, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm certainly sniping now that the Alliance has joined us, not all of them! It feels as though I engaged the opponent's team from the Academy. Ah, this takes me back. I hope this will be an opportunity for me to cultivate new friendships. Friendships. I keep getting, I keep thinking I've seen like, oh, a slight bit of, a slight bit of blue. Must be, a, must be a work I need to get. <laughs> like that one. Got a second? You went back to Gallant here for a bit, didn't you? How is it? Your family holding up okay? Not much has changed, thankfully. And also, my father said to make sure I sent you his regards. He said you know what that means. 
Whoa! Wait, did I do something wrong? I haven't done anything right. At least not lately. <laughs> <laughs> Should I find an idea of a joke? Certainly he knows how hard he's been working. And how has your family been since... Um... Your brother? So the story I find it's been is... the same as ever, but I think my mom's taking it pretty hard. McLaren wasn't her biological son, but she cared about him more the same. Aside from that, there's been nothing out of the ordinary in God's hair territory. The swing armies came and knocked it a few times, but we sent it back in. Hmm. And I see. Well, I suppose no news is good news then. We are seeing each other after a long time. Are your skills still soft? Of course. You went back to Bridget, right? Yes. Home was very good. I went to the ocean and forest like, like, like when I was a child. I also said hello to the spirits. Hmm. Spirits, huh? Can't say I really understand, but they sound important to Bridget. Uh. They are. But spirits are very real. You could be praying for damn protection too. <laughs> oh yeah, why? Because of all the anyway, like I could just give it to, give her give this, Give her the mug whistle. Oh, yeah. Get on you think it was the kingdom army this long. Must have been tough, huh? But your hard days are over now. I've called in a favor from Claude, you see. Let's Let me see. guess, you asked for meat, right? Ah. You know it! I asked to get some delicious, juicy meat so we can really give it our all. I mean, I asked for some other stuff too. Between you and me, the king kingdom of army's food tastes like tree bark. We'll be swimming and tasting fruits from all of the lines in no time, so make sure you get good and hungry. Oh, my fellow, you and your meats. This is my first time visiting Kingdom Tale the way. There's something fascinating around every corner here. The very climate that allows for diverse rare plant life, and each town or village has their unique charms. Truly, food is fast as astounds me every day. Oh, uh, my apologies, I must compose myself. We are at war, and I am a knight, after all. Yeah, get used to it. We'll probably shouldn't lean on the alliance too much, but it is nice to have more allies. We've been. If we. we, we that, We've even got people from the Golden Deer here now, which is really reassuring. Hmm. Definitely, they'll force to be reckoned with. Now, be counting them in battle. I agree. The Empire may have sheer numbers, but I think there may be hope for, hope for us yet. But as to what happened between us after the Empire was defeated, your guess is as good as mine. Oh. Hey, long time to see. You haven't changed a bit. How's it, how's it been going? Right on. I'm good, so can't complain. Though I'd be even better if we could end this war with the next campaign. Wouldn't that be nice? But anyway, I'm glad we welcome to see you again. Mm. My one facing goes right out the window when you're not around. So, Ah, uh, same old Bernadetta. Ah, looks like we have days of peace and quiet are over. So Why do you think they're sending me to the front lines again? Is it because I'm, I'm from the Empire? Oh, this is too much pressure. Are you sure? It's not about where you're from. People are just counting on you. And no one's forcing you to do anything. <laughs> counting on me? Well, when you put it that way. Alright, down to it! It's just quick to change tune. The Archbishop has long hoped to recap the Gelling Monk Monastery. Now that, was my, now that was my finally come to fruition, and we have Claude to thank for it. Though I would have preferred it to be a devout follower of the church. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm devout either. None of us are religious. Oh. Of course not, nor would I censor you for that. However, it is undeniable that the people in Alliance territory are less religious than those of the kingdom. The Eastern Church presides over Leicester, yet they do not appear particularly enthusiastic in spreading the faith. <sighs> On the other hand, the Western Church's fa fa fanatical leanings are another cause for concern. <sighs> Your Majesty, please take care. Your wounds have barely healed, and yet you're working in insensibly. No. When should I work if not now? There was no need for concern. I can read my spirit as I always have. No you sure you're not just trying to toughen out? Getting enough rest is part of your own job too. Hmm. I suppose you have a point. But I promise, I know my limits. And if I am honest, my thoughts tend to stray to the situation with the Empire regardless. I cannot fully relax. <laughs> if we have been able to defeat Adegard or better yet, Talus. No. What's past is past, Your Majesty. Right now we must focus on the battle before us. Yes. You're right, my friend. I spent some time in Caminus and was exceedingly busy helping all the people down. Many people were fleeing for the Empire with the Central Church's aid. Yeah, that must have been rough. Know. Since you're back, does that mean things have turned down over there? Yes, for now. Though I'm sure the situation will go tire once the fighting starts. Oh. The battlefield is a dreadful place, and it's truly horrifying to take another person's life. And yet, at this point, the thought of doing nothing is far worse. Why would things fi had finally died down in the west, they go and send my father to the Alliance. Oh. Works too much, even though he's getting in on the years. What am I going to do with him? He sure does. Guess what happens when you're as alive as he is. I know that's technically a good thing, but it still worries me. Uh -huh. Since he's working so hard, there's no excuse for me to not to do the same. 
Let me just get that out of the way before supplies I can go on. Collect supplies. Any army. Everything has its use. Come here, sir. <laughs> oh, hey, sir. Nice, time. nice timing. Let me introduce you to my partner here. <laughs> nice, to meet you. You. nice to meet you. Thanks for your help with Orion Road. Should we have left the nice sale was two years ago? That's before getting us the worst name in the, the, in the Alliance. Perhaps he's going to be fighting himself from now on. I can vouch for his skills. Hmm. I was hired as a formality, of course, but I have subordinates and family in the kingdom, so it all worked out for the best. Don't worry. Trust is the foundation of my business. I'm not going to betray you simply because it's like my fancy. But I suppose I would understand if someone didn't believe you because of my circumstances. Hmm. Another battle on the horizon. And one that would decide the Empire's fate, no less. Have you heard how the Imperial Army's in disarray? What's going on? And what has become of Aedy? Yeah, yeah, it's I a definite know. concern. If the Empire falls apart, chaos will spread through the rest of Fildon. You're probably right. Maybe I should... <sighs> no, and I'm sorry. No, I'm alright, and I can fight. The battlefield is my stage, after all. She is really concerned for her best friend, or... Just sorry for her. <laughs> Good day. We meet again, says. Now that I have revised, you have nothing more to fear. <laughs> but I'm only stronger than you. Don't worry about it, for I am the one who carries both the Alliance and its gloriously unreliable leader upon my very shoulders. My larger concerns for the Alliance territories. The people must be losing sleep for my absence. I'm so stronger than you. Uh, don't care. Um, oh. I must apologize. You finally have reinforcements, and yet you get me as the commander. Um, if it bothers you, I can return to the lines at once. Uh, what are you what? talking about? You've already come this far. We're all counting on you, so just do the best you can. Yes. Alright. Um, I'll try. Alright, well, I forgot so many support so far. I'm just gonna expand that list of even further just by doing this. This is one of my favorites. Thank you. This really makes my day. How'd you know I love this stuff? <laughs> you must be more clever than I thought. Ah. Oh. A high-quality meal suitable for my refined palate. I am most grateful. I'm surprised you know what I like. Thank you. This is wonderful. This reminds me of Garrick Mock. Catherine and I used to eat together all the time. Yes, those were fine days spent basking in the glow of the knights, the church, and Lady Rhea. Thanks for the tasty meal! Next time, I'm looking forward to something even better! Why did that sound like Don? Don is one of the teenage mini turtles to say. I don't know. Come back whenever you're <laughs> Might be the wrong turtle. I'm, I'm thinking aloud here. I don't know. Finally done. That turned out pretty good, huh? All because we stuck to our strengths. There's nothing more riveting than a new challenge. My interest is peaked. I mean, this really is going to be this board conversation episode. Jesus Christ. Oh look, he's got dialogue. She's got dialogue with him. If only we could find him. Also, why do these two have like a support as this at, at the very end? Even though these two have known each other for quite a while. Jesus Christ, can they come up with something? Probably don't, but it's freaking still. It's like five, four, five, seven supports all together. Jesus Christ. Nothing to report. Greetings, Commander. Nothing to report. With all these alliance folks coming to lend a hand, it feels like our camp went from boring to bustling overnight. Seeing all these people milling about reminds me of when I was in Ga at Garrick Mark. <laughs> we'll get to Garrick Mark eventually. Right after I go and start doing all these supports, so we're gonna be here a while. <sighs> hey, Dimitri. Aren't you supposed to be on break today? What's got you down? It's nothing. I suppose I'm just finding it difficult to relax. It is vexing to no end to lay around doing nothing while everyone else busies themselves with vital work. Nobody's forcing you to take vacations or anything. We just want you to have a little break every now and again. Why are you so desperate to work anyway? Because it is my duty. No. It is the only way I know how to live. As part of the royal bloodline, my life has never for a moment belonged to me. Not even at the instant of my birth. And as a survivor of that horrible tragedy, there are certain responsibilities only I can shoulder. I get where you're coming from, I think. 
I felt the same way after my company got wiped out. Still, nothing's gonna go the way you want if you can't bring yourself to trust people who just want to help. And don't even try to tell me you'd be happy with that. All I want is to ease the pain. Both for those who perished that day and for those who yet live. I'm fully aware that I will need to make sacrifices if I ever hope to accomplish that goal. But I will not drag others into my own personal crusade. I won't let anyone else suffer. <sighs> so, you see, it's better for me to carry the burden myself. And better for everyone else as well. You say you don't want to see people suffer. But what about you, Dimitri? What about your pain? You don't have a hope in the world of caring for other people if you can't care for yourself first. I'm not sure how to respond to that. And in truth, I don't know how to alleviate my own pain. I've never given the matter any thought. What would happiness even look like for me? How can you not know something like that? Just think about it. What kind of things make you smile? Maybe when you finally conquer a tough rival? Or hold a banquet after surviving a dangerous battle? Hmm. I don't believe I bear the right to such happiness, but... If that time were to come, it would be upon my death. Having devoted my life to forming a peaceful kingdom full of joyful citizens. Seriously? You can be downright dismal sometimes, you know that? Why is death the first thing that comes to mind when you think about being happy? Dismal? Yes, perhaps you're right. But I find it difficult to consider anything else that may cause me joy. Come on, nothing? What about ending this war quick and celebrating with all your friends? I'm sure Dadu and the others would whip up the grandest feast you've ever laid eyes on. No, such revelry would be wasted on me. But... I suppose seeing the smiles on everyone's faces would be enough. Thanks for thinking of us, oh great king. But fine, if you want to carry your own burdens for the rest of your life, so be it. We'll just have to take extra good care of you though, since you clearly won't do it yourself. For starters, you're gonna take a break, and by the goddess, you're gonna like it. Come on, Dimitri. We're gonna get you away from camp for a bit. No words can express my gratitude. Think about it, uh, these couple of attempts just to even get that recorded well without any problems. Jesus Christ. I just wanted to probably should have just like. We were recording from the beginning again, just sounds rough for the camera death, but Jesus Christ. It's like, I'm glad to have a, like, a support. A support conversation for you, otherwise, this will be so much more annoying than it needed to be. You know what? Okay. Did you, sir? We'd like to hear your opinion on the matter we discussed earlier. Regarding Count Karen, as I discussed with Gustav. Looks like things are finally changing to do. They've really started warming up to you, huh? They have. That soldier I was speaking to lost his mother in Dusker. She was a knight of the kingdom. Naturally, his feelings toward me were complicated. We argued many times. You arguing? Can't imagine what that looks like. I thought it better than just letting him hurl abuse at me. Such a reaction was surprising for me as well. But now we have fought together, worried together, faced death together. I have shown him what I'm capable of, and he has come to trust me in turn. Nice. Sounds like you really earned his respect then. Congrats, Dadu. Strange. Why are you so happy for me? Because we're friends. And friends are happy for each other when good stuff happens to them. Are they? <laughs> yes! You'd find it quite surprising! Anyway, now you've just got to keep it going and get even more people to trust you. Same goes for me. And Dimitri while we're at it. You're right. In the meantime, I'm going to keep winning battles until I prove myself to you once and for all. So make sure you keep an eye on me out there, Dadu. Because I'm going to be the most valuable fighter we've got. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. I look forward to your performance, but you already have my trust. No matter your origin or identity. Just imagine doing this to me. Oh, just we're trusting individuals, goodness. Really? 
You never know when I might betray you and turn my sword on Dimitri, though. Not to mention this weird power I have. Can you seriously say you trust me with that in mind? Your power is concerning, but it does not define you. I'm sure you would not so easily betray His Majesty or myself, but know that if you do, I will cut you down without hesitation. That's who I am. You must understand by now. Weird way to tell me you trust me, but it's got to do written all over it. Yes. I'm honored. I, I can be like saving after like every time I do this, just not, just in case I have to be recorded. Because Jesus Christ, this is like one TV thing after another, and just makes the uh, the card is recording like at all times. Just makes uh, everything is perfectly fine and dandy. Makes uh, nothing else is wrong with it. By the time I am recording these kind of scenes, just, uh, I can really. <laughs> The things I have to do just to keep myself <laughs> dedicated for from actually having to work not to for not having to edit edit overload these episodes at times. Goodness. Anyways, I got two support for Felix. Let's let's, let's do that. What's wrong? Your footwork is even sloppier than usual. You noticed that, huh? It's nothing. There's just been a lot on my mind lately, is all. And I was kind of lost in thought when you lunged at me, so I couldn't really react too well. Training isn't the time for idle contemplation. You're worthless as a sparring partner if you let your mind wander. Not to mention that you do the same thing in actual battles. Getting distracted when you're training is one thing. Do it out there, and the enemy will cut you down without hesitation. <sighs> We've been through this before. If there's something on your mind, just come out with it already. I was just thinking you have a pretty good read on me now, too. <laughs> it was obvious something was wrong from the way you were fighting. And this is just payback for last time, so no complaining. This! Oh, don't worry. I'm not. If you say so. There's still something I don't understand, though. Where did you learn to fight like that? You clearly don't move like a knight, but I've never seen a mercenary use those techniques either. I guess you could say I taught myself. I didn't really have one teacher who showed me everything. If anything, I just kind of picked stuff up as I moved from one band of mercs to the next. That explains it. I was wondering why your style was so hard to read. Both knights and mercenaries use a standard set of battle-tested tactics. A book they all play by. But you're not bound to any single convention. I suppose that's what I found strange. Probably doesn't help that I don't have to draw my sword like everyone else. When I think about it like that, it might have been for the best that I taught myself instead of subscribing to a particular school of thought. A unique style all your own. Fascinating. Teach me. I'd be glad to, but I'm the only one who can use my sword. It won't be easy to replicate. That's for me to decide. If nothing else, I can adapt your moves for my own purposes. The more styles I know, the better. If you say so, I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'll do what I can. Oh, and you can teach me in exchange. The more styles, the better, right? You fight sorta like a knight, but also sorta not. I mean that in a good way, of course. I'm not sure how to put it. It's almost like you react to the situation as it plays out. So, yeah. If we can combine our two styles somehow, I bet we'll both end up stronger for it. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> maybe so, maybe it won't. He's making a run for it, Felix. Don't let him get away. Not a chance. He's mine. <laughs> nice work out there. It's a real confidence boost knowing you have my back. I could say the same for you. Now that I know your style better, I have less trouble predicting your movements. Glad to hear it. Guess you must have a pretty good read on me by now, huh? <laughs> On your sword, perhaps. There you go again. You know, I've gotten a good grasp on the way you think. It's like you decide on a role for yourself, then do whatever you can to see it through. Of course, the role changes depending on the situation and who's fighting beside you. Sometimes you attack, sometimes you defend. It's incredible just how versatile you are. No need for compliments. That's simply how I was taught to be. Really? By who? My father. He may prefer a spear or magic, but he's more than capable with a sword in his hands, too. Right. Makes sense to be Rodrigue. His weapon of choice might be different, but he adapts himself to the flow of battle just as well as you do. 
Probably better, actually. The style didn't start with him, though. It's something the leaders of our house have passed down throughout the ages. House Fraldarius has been the king's lance and shield for generations. Ever since the time of Kaifen, sworn friend of the great King Luv. At times, we've been sent to defeat the crown's enemies. At others, we've held back to defend the throne. I admit the style has its uses, idiotic history of blind faith aside. Huh. So that's why you fight the way you do. You're indispensable, Felix. Not just to Dimitri, but to everyone else, too. <laughs> I suppose if I'm a lance and shield, you would be like some kind of projectile, an arrow or a stone. <laughs> You're saying I'm good at taking the enemy by surprise, right? You sure could learn to be more direct with your compliments, you know? You can interpret it that way if you want. In any case, you're just as important to this army as I am. Between that sword of yours and the way you can shapeshift, nobody ever knows what you'll do next. Some might say your powers are dangerous, but I think they provide the perfect element of surprise. Huh. Glad to hear you say so. There's one fault I can't get past, though. You can never stay focused during battle. It's almost like you're talking to someone while you fight. Someone in your head that... Hey, what's with a smile? Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm just really happy we've gotten to know each other so well. Only a true friend would be that open with their criticism. Thanks, Felix. <sighs> Say what you will. That's the last piece of advice I'm ever giving you. He wasn't really mad, was he? It's so hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> oh, can't be me! It literally could just be you, says. I don't know how to tell it. It's such an awful. Hmm. It's been a while since we sent that letter, but we still haven't received a response. Yeah. We know the village chief got it, though. And we know he read it. The soldier who delivered it confirmed as much. But he never wrote back. I wonder why. Hard to say. Maybe he just doesn't want to get involved. Or maybe he doesn't remember us. Part of me almost wonders if my mom didn't make him promise not to tell me anything. Not that I have any proof she'd do that. Hmm. It's fine, honestly. If he's not gonna respond, then it's probably just a dead end. And you're okay leaving it be? I mean, yeah, I want to know more about my mom. But it's not the end of the world if I can't. You had to give up learning about your parents too, right? I did, but... No matter what kind of past my mom had, she'll always be my mom. And I'll always be me. I know that she put every bit of herself into raising me, and that's what matters. There's nothing more important than that in my book. You're right. Whatever your parents did before they had you, and wherever they are now, they'll always be your parents. Glad you understand. And hey, not knowing the truth lets me make up all sorts of stories about her in my head. Oh, you mean like imagining she was actually a high-ranking noble, forced into obscurity? Not a bad idea, but not totally original either. I was thinking more along the lines of a legendary knight, known throughout every inch of Fodlin, or maybe a mysterious adventurer who came from somewhere far beyond its borders. <laughs> it would be incredible if it were true, and it would certainly explain why she was so knowledgeable. Still, I'm sorry I couldn't help you in the end. It's all good, Ash. Without you, I never would have spent all this time thinking about my mom and who she really was. So even though we came up empty-handed, I'd say the journey itself was entirely worth it. Yeah. Anyway, I should probably get going. Just remembered I've got a huge to-do list and not nearly enough time to do it. See ya! Huh? I could have sworn I saw the commander here a moment ago. Oh, you just missed them. I can take a message if you want, though. In that case, please deliver this letter. Oh yeah, we're never gonna find out what's on it. It's fucking phenomenal. <laughs> it probably is just like nothing though. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Maybe it was something, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> but does never know the answer to that, because uh, As only has the answer, and we don't have any more further support as him. Ugh, today's training was rough. Guess I need to start working even harder if I want to keep up. 
You know, it's incredible just how into all this you are, but I do feel kind of bad for you. Why? It's my own fault for not being up to snuff. Just you watch, Sylvain. I'm gonna stand head and shoulders above everyone else in the next battle. Just like I always do. That's not what I mean. I feel bad that we roped you into this war. The only reason any of us are fighting is to keep our homes from being destroyed. If we fail, we'll lose everything. Our houses, our families, the places we grew up. But you don't have that kind of personal stake in this thing. You can live wherever the wind takes you. True. I am a bit of a nomad. Isn't there anywhere you call home, though? Well, sorta. I grew up in a remote village off in the mountains, so that's probably the closest thing. But it's hard to really say for sure. Honestly, I doubt I'll ever understand what it means to have a home like all of you do. So what? Are you just in this for the money then? If I'm getting paid for a job, then I'll do whatever it takes to see it through to the end. And of course, I want to keep my friends safe too. <laughs> a very you answer if I've ever heard one. Not that that's a bad thing. Really, I think this is the closest thing to a home I've ever had. Because I've got all of you here. <laughs> Are you sure? This place doesn't make for quality living, trust me. I mean, it's cold, it's desolate, and there's nowhere to go to have any fun. Plus, we've constantly got enemies like Srang soldiers coming at us from every angle. Well, I can't deny that. But it's still important to you anyway, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about that. And it's our job to make it a place where everyone can live in peace. Right. Who knows what'll happen after the war. But for now, I'm with you guys every step of the way. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, and about those plans for the fire orb I showed you? Would you mind helping me with a little experiment later? The thing hardly had any punch to it when I tested it. Sure. Sounds like it's a long way off still, huh? Hey, I'm trying here. I even got in touch with the School of Sorcery to see if they could help. No rush, Sylvain. I'm sure you'll finish it one of these days. I've spent enough time with you to know. You can anything when you put your mind to it. <sighs> Today's training was a total mess. My feet are killing me. You need to stay in peak shape, though. You never know when we might get tossed into a battle. True. We've got to be ready for anything. <laughs> uh, Mercedes? You daydreaming again? Gotta say, you've been acting all kinds of weird lately. Have I? I feel perfectly fine, I assure you. You sure? Back when we had that tea party, you looked so... I don't know... Sad. I suppose I can't hide anything from you. Things like tea parties with dear friends, or seeing the trainees work so hard to improve. It reminds me of how things were before the war. If just for a moment. You mean back at the academy? Yes. And before that, when I lived with my mother and my little brother. It also reminds me of the time I spent studying with friends at the School of Sorcery in the capital. Things may not have been easy then, but I would give anything to return to those days. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen you get this sentimental about something. The feeling surprises even me. All my years, I've gone wherever the current of life chose to sweep me. In truth, I used to think nothing ever went precisely how I wanted it to. But looking back now, I realize just how joyous all those moments really were. And yes, I'm aware it isn't good to dwell so heavily on the past. But I can't seem to help myself. And that's totally fine. Nobody's gonna judge you for reliving one or two good memories every now and then. Thank you, truly. You're such a kind person. Still, you shouldn't keep all your emotions bottled up like that. We might not go back to the peace of the old days anytime soon, but we can still have tea parties. I'm always here to listen if you ever need to get something off your chest, Mercedes. You mean that? I'm so glad to hear it. In that case, why don't we have one right now? Uh, sure, I don't mind. But why now? Because I used the money I'd been saving up to buy some more ingredients. Remember how we were talking about all those different kinds of delicious fruit desserts before? Well, I went ahead and whipped some up. I can never turn down an invitation like that. Can't wait to see what you came up with. Hey, Annette. What are you up so late for? Oh no, it's nothing like that. I've been working on this. 
Yeah, let's get to the text. Let me just. Hey, Annette. What are you up so late for? Some research? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I, I want to let it for like a little bit, but I, I can't press it too, too, too soon, like I always do somehow. Uh, that just looks like a bunch of little black bugs jumping around on a page. <laughs> kind of the point of musical, musical sheet says, to, I'm just saying. Excuse you, it's sheet music. I have no idea how you could possibly think the notes look like bugs. Sorry, sorry. It's just, I don't think I've ever actually seen sheet music before. Does this mean you're writing a new song? Mm-hmm. A lovely tune popped into my head today, so I wanted to jot it down before I forgot. What kind of song is it? I can't read sheet music, so I'm having trouble imagining what it'll be like. If it turns out right, it'll be bouncy and fun. Though I'm nowhere near finishing the lyrics yet. Still, I want to write something happy. A song that'll make people feel good when they sing it. That sounds great. I can't let's finished. Hey, uh, do you remember the song I wrote about that night? Night? Oh, you mean the horse with the human... <clears throat> yeah, the song about the night. Of course. <laughs> I like I wasn't more the mystery lyrics. Well, I heard someone singing it again. Look, Annette, I know you're upset I let it slip, but what's done is done. I didn't mean it like that. I... I heard a mercenary singing it to himself as he died. Oh. He was covered in blood and could hardly breathe. Yet he had this great big smile on his face as the words crossed his lips. He must have been in so much pain. But still, he just kept smiling. Probably thinking back to all the times he spent drinking and singing with his friends. Soldiers always throw the wildest parties after a battle. The sort of thing where you can find knights and mercs alike locking arms and belting out tunes. Maybe. Anyway, I've been thinking about that mercenary a lot ever since he passed. I never wanted that song out in the world. And I'm honestly still not happy about it. But it helped him face his final moments with a smile. Instead of sadness or fear. And I'm forever grateful I could provide that. It's like I told you before, Annette. Your songs can really help people. <laughs> Even if they're all kind of weird. I'm sure tons more took comfort in that song too, including me. Whenever I'm fling down, I just think about one of your silly songs and I'm right back in high spirits. Silly? Are you implying my lyrics aren't serious? No, never mind. I'll choose to take it as a compliment. And hey, if my songs really help people that much, I better get to work writing lots of new ones. There you go. So. What's this next one going to be about? Well, right now I'm planning to make it be about a group of friends who dig into a huge feast together. They keep churning out dish after delicious dish, and everyone's faces are alight with laughter and joy. Wow, I'm getting hungry just hearing about it. I'm getting hungry about it too, and I just think it learned like a couple of hours ago. Right? Then once all the food runs out, they go off hunting for ingredients so they can cook up some more. Uh, okay. But, uh-oh, they come across a ginormous bear and have to battle it to the death. This is the second song I heard about about a bear, and she's, you know, <laughs> but it just heard one was the veins. Good lord. A death match with a bear? I thought this was supposed to be a happy song about a feast. Eh, I guess I shouldn't judge it before it's done. Just let me know when you're finished, okay? I want to be the first in line to hear it. Yes, of course. 